Hey friends, starting my weekend vlog on Friday. You always know how that goes. Um, busy day today already. I had to run out and pick up a few things for Easter. I'm not gonna do a grocery haul because it's purely just Easter food. I need it like heavy cream and what else did I need? I don't know, just a couple like little um, cabbage to make the stuffed cabbage. Uh, tomato soup to make the stuffed cabbage sauce that it goes in. So I did that this morning, huh? Um, so I did all that this morning and then ran into someone who used to live a couple houses down from us when we lived in a couple towns over spent 40 minutes talking to him and then realized, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late for church. Flew home, got changed. Andrew's already there. Doug and I are just pulling in now. Um, after church, we are going to go break our Good Friday fast and go get a slice of pizza at the pizza place right near church because we have to be right back here like a half an hour after church ends. I have to decorate the church for Easter and Doug has choir practice. Andrew drove separate because he is going um, to see a friend tonight for her birthday. So that's what we're doing. Um, last night we were here for Mass. Holy Thursday is my absolute favorite Mass of the year. It is my favorite. Um, and then the tradition of visiting seven churches after Mass is just like my favorite thing in the world. I just love it. It's just so... It just really gets me into the right frame of mind for these three days, so very nice. It was very nice. Um, so that's about it. We just pulled in, so I'll talk to you when I eat my dinner. Well, that was a whirlwind. Um, so the flowers ended up being delivered to church more than an hour early. So we never left to go get pizza. So Doug ran out and got a pizza and brought it back. We did not eat in the church. We ate in the gathering space um, while we were decorating. So we are done. It looks beautiful. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Doug to get done choir practice. I just needed to get out of there. I needed a little bit of quiet. Um, so he should be done hopefully, hopefully soon. Is my, oops, sorry, is my hope. So I will insert a video of how beautiful it looks. We did a really good job, I think. It took a long time to come together this year. I'm not sure what it was. I do not like the green foil on the flowers. I like gold and we have green this year. So I think that's what was throwing me off, but we got her done. So I'll insert the video here and that's that. Well, friends, we are home from church and look what's going on. We have got glumpy making going on. Normally I have my niece Stacy and my sister-in-law Mary, but it's just me and Doug tonight. So hopefully uh, they'll be good because I'm not used to rolling them. Mary and Stacy do all the rolling. So we'll see what happens, but I've tried my best. Okay. I just walked down the hall and saw an Amazon box in my foyer. I guess Andrew brought it in when he, he came home before us. I guess he brought it in and I kind of didn't think anything about it. I was like, what did I order? This is what was in it. The Graham Kerr cookbook, The Galloping Gourmet. Now, if you watched the tag last Tuesday, You'll know I mentioned the Galloping Gourmet. And dear, dear Sandy from Life with Sandy, 
sent me this book. So Sandy, thank you so very much. I cannot wait to sit and look through it. Okay, we got one pot going. It's simmering nicely, so that's gonna cook for about an hour. And this pot just started. So there we go. We have, I think I counted 60 or 61 galumpki. So that will be done tonight, and that will be one thing checked off the list. Let's give you a little, oh, nope, they're all under the brooder. We can't see the babies, let's see. Say hi, chickies. There they are, getting big already, it's crazy. Good morning, friends. It is dark 030 on Saturday morning, and I am up to get started. Yeah. Um, got the galumpki done last night, so that was good. So now I'm gonna get a cake started. Um, I am not in charge of desserts and I probably shouldn't even be making this cake. Ooh, I have mascara everywhere. But probably a month or two ago, my niece, Stacy, you have all met Stacy. She saw this cake online. I think I told you about it. Did I tell you about it? I did. How we love pineapple upside down cake. I did. So anyway, I decided to make it. It's involved. So I decided to get up super duper early and start the cake and also just try to get a few things ready um, for the pierogi making since we don't have a crew here today. Um, I thought I would try to get a little bit of a jump on it. So that's why I'm up before the sun after not a lot of sleep last night. We didn't get to sleep until after one last night. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this cake started, get things set up and get get myself cleaned up before my sister comes and get rolling. Um, oh, look at my nifty new shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Andrew and I gave blood on Thursday and they gave us these nifty shirts. So I thought they were pretty cool. Um, we, uh, there's a place near us that has a blood drive pretty much like every, what is it, 52 days you can give? Well, I can give. Andrew, Andrew has to wait 104 days because he gives the power red. So he has to wait 104 days. Um, but I only have to wait 52. So I really do try to get there. If you can donate blood, go do it. It's quick, it's easy, it's painless, and let me tell you, blood is in sh short supply right now. Um, donations are down since COVID, and they really, really need blood. Blood is used for so many more things than just like somebody needing a transfusion. Um, one of the volunteers there was telling me about these treatments and stuff, and she actually receives the treatments and how it takes like, I forget what it was, how many pints of blood for one treatment for autoimmune things and all. It was very interesting, but that's my PSA for this morning. If you can give blood, go give blood. It's life-saving, truly. Okay, I'm gonna get started on this cake. Not gonna take you along with me because it's probably about 70 points a slice, no lie. Um, there's 24 ounces of cream cheese in it. That's just in the cheesecake part, so yeah. But my niece saw it, my niece wanted it. And what Stacy gets, Stacy wants. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll chat. Okay, we are moving right along. I've got one set of onions fried. I've got the rest of it in the oven and the cheesecake is also in the oven and it looks beautiful. I'll turn, turn you around and show it to you. And I was wrong. It was not three packages of cream cheese. No, it was four. Yeah. If this turns out, I will definitely taste it because I have to, but I'm not eating a whole piece. I will eat a bite or two and that is it because there's way too much other food and I am not spending, I, I don't even want to put it in the recipe builder, because I can't even imagine 
It's four packages of cream cheese, one and two thirds cups of sugar, two eggs, tablespoon of vanilla and three quarter cup of heavy cream. It looks heavenly. It, it, yeah. But I'll turn around and show it to you in the oven. There she is looking good. Okay, the cheesecake is out of the oven. I think it looks fabulous. I took it out when it was barely jiggling and now it's not jiggling at all. So I think that's exactly what's supposed to happen. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out when we cut into it tomorrow. But now this just has to sit at room temperature for two hours and then go in the refrigerator overnight. Tomorrow you make the cake part that goes on top. So a little bit of craziness. Still waiting on my sister, shocking. Um, I did get the dough made and it is resting. The potatoes are made. She's bringing the meat, so I can't do that until she gets here. All the onions are done, so I feel like I'm doing really well. Dugs out with the chickens. We are trying so hard to integrate Laura Cluck back into the flock, but we, we think Wanda's the mean girl. We think she's the ringleader being mean to her, but the rest of them are not so nice either. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I really don't want a house chicken. We're just gonna keep trying. For two people, we are absolutely killing it. The dough is beautiful. Well, you did that, I can't take any. Jean is stuffing them beautifully. And we've got about, how many did you count? Um, 110, over 110 now. Over 110 made, and we have a whole nother bowl of dough. And we already tasted them and they are delicious. And there's Aria supervising the whole situation. So I just realized I didn't even get my sister on camera. Um, she had to skedaddle because they have an anniversary party to go to this afternoon. So it's down to just me and that guy. So Andrew's helping. Doug's working on peeling and slicing six pounds of carrots. I hope he knows to use the food processor to slice them. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Um, so we are making headway. I'm feeling good, actually. Feeling good. Cheesecake looks beautiful. That'll be finished up tomorrow. Um, I decided to take a shortcut. Not on the cheesecake. Andrew doesn't know this yet, so I don't know if we'll be happy about this or not. Probably not. I decided to take a shortcut on the dinner rolls. I'm not making them from scratch. Nope. Something's got to give eventually, and that's what I decided it was going to give. If that has to give, that's fine. So yeah, see, he's good. So um, I'm still hoping to maybe get some Easter bread made. So that I thought that was more important than the dinner rolls. We'll see, but we have got lots of pierogies, lots. So I will um, give you a final count. I showed them to you on the one table. Now the dining room table is full. So I'll definitely give you a final count of how many we made. While we are finishing up the pierogies, Doug is working on slicing six pounds of carrots. He peeled them, washed them, and now he is slicing them. And that's for the carrot casserole. I'm making two of them, one for us to keep and eat here and one for my brother and sister-in-law for their dinner. She's making two potato casseroles and giving me one. So worked out perfectly. All hands on deck. I am exhausted. Oh my gosh, I look like a hot mess. I am beaked. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But the cooking is done. As far as I can think about it, I have to look at my list, but I think everything's done. The pierogi are made. So tomorrow I'm gonna cook them right before we eat them. Normally we cook them today and then reheat them, but I want them nice and fresh tomorrow. So that's done. The galumpki are done. The kielbasa and sauerkraut will be tossed into a crock pot tomorrow. First thing in the morning, so that's easy. The cheesecake part of the cake is done. I just need to do the cake part of the cake. I'll do that in the morning. And if time allows, tomorrow I'm gonna to make some Easter bread. We'll see. Um, people aren't coming till three o'clock, so I do have some time. 
Um, I'm trying to think, like, if I get up, get the crock pot going, get the bread dough rising. And I think I'm going to make, even though we have a hash brown casserole, I might make some mashed potatoes because Doug likes mashed potatoes with his galumpki. So I'll probably make a small amount, like three pounds, maybe four pounds of mashed potatoes. But they're so easy. Um, so tomorrow I just have to kind of straighten up a little bit and set the tables. I can't believe we're not having a sit down. Like I like a sit down dinner, but too many people, too much food to pass. And we'll probably be in the dining room, in the kitchen, and so we're just going to do a buffet. Um, I only have 12, a service for 12 of my china, so we'll have to use some of my everyday dishes too. So be it. It's okay. Um, I hope I have enough glasses for everybody's beverage. I gotta check that out. Um, I think I do. So that's about it. It was a busy day. I was so busy I didn't pick up the camera a whole lot, but I mean, I just made the carrots. I, I've made that in a cook with me before. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it. So Doug and Andrew mowed and weed whacked the lawn, so that's good. Now I gotta go get a shower and figure out what I'm wearing to church because I don't have any of my spring clothes down, so I have no idea what I'm wearing to church. Gotta go work on that, so I'll be back, my friend. It was quite the long day of cooking. We are heading out now to church. It starts at eight. It is now seven. We need to be there early because Doug is singing and Andrew and I are ushering. I don't expect it to be, I expect it to be full, but not overly full. Tomorrow we're expecting overly full and we actually have the hall set up and we're live streaming mass into the hall on the big screen. Um, Cause more than likely there'll be overflow. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, we expect mass to probably be about two hours long tonight is the night it's called the Easter vigil and it's when people who are converting to Catholicism they've finished their classes and they are like kind of brought into the church tonight they'll make all their sacraments that they haven't made and things like that so it's a very special night um, for them very special night of course because Easter is the holiest day of the year for us and it's just a beautiful mass it starts outside in the dark with a fire which is very cool and that's how we light the baptismal candle for the year and it's just a lot of a lot of really neat stuff going on so yeah long night long day oh my gosh i cooked all day the house is a mess i'm gonna try to clean the house when i get home um we'll see what happens i'm tired that might get done tomorrow morning while the cake is baking i don't know we'll see what gets done gets done, what doesn't doesn't. And guess what? People will have food in their bellies and that's all that's important is that we fill their bellies. So it's all good. I will catch up with you later on. Okay, we are home. It was exactly two hours, man. They had it timed perfectly. It was very, very nice, very nice mass. One of my favorites. Now I'm just going to get the kitchen cleaned up. Um, and what go to bed actually i think i might try to like set the table and stuff i'm not sure yet because i don't know the more i can get done tonight the better but it's late but i want to show you mm, it's probably better to show you in the daylight we got another ottoman i love the ottoman i love the style i just don't think i love the color it's not dark enough navy i don't know i i'm never gonna find what i want because I want one that matches my chair, but it didn't, there was one, there wasn't one that matched the chair. Um, and now the chair is discontinued, so I can't even buy fabric and like recover one. But anyway, I'll show you tomorrow when it's later out. So that is, did I show you? Did I show you what I made for Easter dinner favors? Everybody's getting a half dozen of eggs from our coop. So 
So I thought that was really cute. I just made a little label, stuck them on there. Uh, pretty much saved eggs all week. We didn't eat very many eggs this week, so I would have enough to uh, to give out. Our, it was our egg basket and skelter were like overflowing. And now there's like 10 on there. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. I am going to finish getting this kitchen cleaned up. Take a few. I'm going to, I'm going to build. I'm going to help the bunny build the boys Easter baskets. And, and Adam won't get his till Monday when he comes home. He is having a blast. He is having such a good time. Um, I keep getting Snapchats and pictures and videos and, um, him and Grace actually, um, FaceTimed us tonight. Um, they got up this morning and watched the sunrise. Well, they were, and Adam and Grace's mom were supposed to be up and, um, help Grace with, I don't know how all Disney works now. Like it's not fast passes anymore. It's something else, lightning pass. And like, you have to get on it like seven o'clock and keep refreshing because eight o'clock they become available. I don't know. But anyway, Adam was supposed to um, be up and help. And so was Grace's mom and neither one of them were. So Grace was doing it on her own this morning. They're going to try for something tomorrow. I forget. They're going to, they're having a mass at the contemporary tomorrow for Easter. So they're going to go over there at nine 30 for mass and then hit the park. So anyway, I'll insert a couple pictures right after this clip, um, that Adam sent me. So they are having fun, but we do miss him. So my friends have a great night, have a wonderful sleep, and I will talk to you in the morning. Good Sunday morning, my friends. Whew, I've got raccoon eyes going on. You think you get all your makeup off and then you wake up and you still have mascara under your eyes. Anyway, good morning. It is Sunday morning. Happy, happy Easter to all that celebrate. And also happy Passover to those who celebrate. Passover started on Friday. And also I think Ramadan started this weekend or last week. So they are all at the same time, which I think is really cool. Anyway, whatever you celebrate, I hope it is super, super joyful. I slept in this morning. I didn't get up till seven o'clock. Felt good. Everybody else is still sleeping. It's about 20 of eight now. Went out and took care of the chickens. Got the eggs that are there now. We left Laura Cluck out in the coop last night. We separated the bully. <laughs> we figured out that Wanda was the biggest bully. So we have her separated out in the crate in the uh, hospital wing. We have her in solitary confinement for a few days because we're trying everything. Um, so Laura slept out in the coop last night with her buddies, but she wouldn't come out today. They all came out. She's still in there. This is hard. This is hard. So, well, if she doesn't come out on her own in a little bit, I'm going to climb in and get her and bring her out and just, you know, keep reintroducing her. Uh, what else? I said church was beautiful last night. I'm up to get started on the cooking that I have left today and just straightening up the house and getting everything reset. My goal is to be done everything by one o'clock. It's a lofty goal. We'll see, but we're certainly going to try. So my goal right now is to make tea. I'm gonna get the tea and coffee going and I think I'm gonna get my bread dough going. That's first and foremost, so that can rise um, and I can get it shaped and all that kind of stuff. And then I think I will start on the cake part of the pineapple upside down cake, cheesecake cake. Yeah, 
We have a plan. We'll get this done. And there are the new little guys crowding around their feeder. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see if they'll let me open without scattering. There we go. Okay, things just got so busy and so crazy around here. So I've got one of my Easter breads rising and got one in the oven baking. I should have used a bigger sheet, but my big, oh gosh, look at that dirty stove. I should have used a bigger baking sheet, but my huge um, sheet pan is in the refrigerator full of pierogies. So yeah. I, okay, why do I put more work onto myself? Because it's what I do. So, back in the day when all the kids were little, Andrew, Adam, and all their cousins were little, we had a massively big egg hunt. I'm talking massive. And, you know, once the kids grew up, we kind of stopped it. Well, Andrew mentioned it the other day, and then, like, one of my other nephews mentioned it. And then today, Kelsey said something to Stacy about it. Like, oh, you know, I'd be knocking people over today for that golden egg. And because we always had the golden egg and it always had money in it. So, of course, I get thinking, oh, my gosh, how much fun would it be? And how much, because everybody's going to be here except Luke. How much fun would it be to have the egg hunt? So, Andrew is out on Easter Sunday getting candy. To shove in eggs but we decided to do a little twist they're all adults now they're all over 21 so he's gonna go to the liquor store and get some little airplane bottles and we're gonna put some of those in some of the eggs we gotta find some jumbo eggs because it'll be fun right it's what i do it's what i do it's what i do um so i already got the cake done for the top of the cheesecake it looks Beautiful. Let me see if I can show you without turning the camera around. So there that is. That's for the top. That's going to go on top of the cheesecake. This whole thing's going to sink. It's so heavy. I've got the kielbasa and sauerkraut going in the crock pot. And I have one load of the galumpki in the crock pot trying to warm that. I've got my ham out trying to um, get that ready to go in the oven because that can be done early and then just carved down and either just put in the oven to keep warm or served at room temperature. We had a little mishap. I asked Doug to make the iced tea for me and we have an iced tea maker and it leaks sometimes. Doug said it hasn't leaked in a while and he put it on like my cute little thing in the kitchen my where I keep all my napkins and, and linens. Well, it leaked. So now the top of that is all white. So I've read before that you put white paste toothpaste on it. I did and it, it got a little bit better. So I did another thing and it got a little bit better. So now I'm just gonna let it sit on there for like an hour and see if it helps. So crazy, isn't it? Doug's at church singing. So I'm watching mass. It hasn't started yet. They've got 10 minutes, but the live stream started. So, um, I mean, I went last night, but I'm going to watch since he's singing. And that's about it. That's where we're at. Um, I'm just continually cleaning up. Um, yeah. So, I guess that's it. Hot Mess Express, right? You know, you know that about me. And it's okay. Um, my plan is to be... What time is it? My plan is to be done by... 2 o'clock. Dinner's at 4. I'm expecting everybody between 3 and 3.30 probably is my guess. So I need to get my butt in gear. I'll be back. Oh, and I've yet to eat anything today. And yesterday I didn't show you my food because, well, guess what? I didn't eat. I know it's not good. But, you know, you get so busy, you just forget. Um, I, I mean, we sampled pierogies, don't get me wrong. So I probably had about three of those through the course of the day. And then um, last night we got home from church. And, like, we realized, like, oh, my gosh, we didn't eat. We're hungry. Andrew went to Wawa. My boy loves Wawa, and he can't get it down there. So when he's home, he tries to, you know, he's like, I'm going to Wawa. 
So he went to Wawa and Doug and I split a bagel. Yeah, and I haven't, I've had a cup of grapes today so far and some tea, but nobody's eaten because we've all been busy. And I, w I was gonna make sausage and eggs this morning or something. We have no eggs between using them to cook and bake with. And, you know, I showed you that I gave each, I have a little favor for Easter dinner. So everybody's getting a half dozen eggs. I have no eggs. I have four. So we'll probably just have toast or something. I don't know. There's Andrew calling me. He's at the store. I'll be back. Okay. So here's the new, here's Ottoman number three. I like the scale. I like the shape. It is super comfortable when you sit in it. I just don't love the color. I just wish it was darker. But the more it sits here, the more I'm getting used to it. Like you can see, it's not the same color. It doesn't, it looks worse on camera than it does in person, if that matters. But I don't know. I still don't know what to do. Why is this so hard, my friends? Why is this so hard? Yes. Sure. I have to come back. I don't think there's going to be enough room. Yeah. I said, he said, we're going to make my plate. I said, my name is not the Loris. Yeah, I know. She made your plates, Bob. The Loris. Loris. It's like the craziest time when all the food gets out and everybody's getting ready and making their plates. I don't think this plate's big enough. Take two. They're small. <laughs> Okay, we have all the children in the dining room so the adults can go out and hide the eggs. She wore shorts under her dress just in case. Oh my god. Look, for years, Kelsey. Are you getting in position, Alex? I gotta win the egg hunt. You know I gotta win the egg hunt. Alex had a golden egg ripped from his hand one year. Never won it once. This is my year. This is Alex's year. Okay, we are absolutely crazy. These are the ones doing the egg hunt. Yeah! One is holding a beer during an egg hunt. On your marks. On your marks. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, food and dessert is over, so now it's time for some gaming. We are playing LCR. Generally, we play it with um, dollar bills, but the first round we are playing with instant scratch-off lottery tickets. Oh my goodness, we are the loud family. I don't even know if you can hear me. It's not looking very pretty now. I'll put a picture in up here somewhere of what it looked like before, but that is that cake I was telling you about. What a night. What a day and night. We had a blast. The food was incredible. The desserts were incredible. And the company was incredible. We had so much fun. We really did. Um, it was loud. But that's how we are. And that's okay. Um, so now cleanup is going, it's 940. Got to clean up from the desserts, ran the dishwasher already from the dinner dishes. 
Have to put the dessert dishes in, have to put the chickens away. Still having trouble integrating Lara. I don't know what we're gonna do. We thought the one was the bully, we took her out. Now the rest of them are going at it. So if you have any advice, if you have chickens and you have any advice, we've tried everything everyone's told us. So tomorrow's another day. Boys go back, Adam flies in tomorrow morning. Um, Doug's gonna get him at the airport around 10.30 and he'll come home and then they go back to school. Womp womp. But we'll see him again in a couple weeks, so. That is that. Thank you for spending the weekend with me. I hope you had a wonderful holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope it was wonderful. That's it. I will be back. I think I'm going to take a couple days off. I need to rest and recharge. Uh, I'll be back on Tuesday for a Tuesday tag, but I think I'll probably take tomorrow and Wednesday off and catch you at the end of the week. Have a great day great couple of days and I will see you soon, my friends.